All right, welcome to week six, day two. It's crazy, Cine 230 Remix Cultures. Today we're talking about unauthorized uses, AKA piracy. I'm down back in the barn. That's where I, that's where I be at, I've been kicked out of the house. I'm just kidding, but uh, y'all probably think I'm some sort of crazy hillbilly redneck with my, you know, uh, redneck tuxedo on and my tractor stuff and all this stuff, but uh, it is the case. Uh, anyways, I just like my overalls, man. I bought a, a farm just so I could wear overalls and not be made fun of. That's, that's real talk. But uh, if you're watching it today, uh, when you're, you know, the class day, which is Wednesday, Yo, it's my birthday. I'm freaking 40, yo. It's crazy. Um, but I'm actually recording this like a week before, so I'm still 39. Um, but anyways, and it's the best thing ever because social distancing is making it so I don't have to do anything or like hang out with people or like do a party or nothing. So that's like awesome. I'm going to just chainsaw and chill. Um, but anyways, we're going to talk about piracy, aka unauthorized uses. And we're going to watch a film today called... Uh, the Pirate Bay AFK. So we're going to learn a little bit about the Pirate Bay. Sorry, allergies, you know. Um, anyway, so what the heck is piracy? You know, what is piracy? Um, well, it's an unauthorized use. I hate this term. I dislike this term immensely. Uh, it was a word that was made up and applied to any unauthorized use by uh, specifically the recording industry and later by, you know, the studio, uh, Hollywood industry, etc. To basically vilify any type of unauthorized use, which could totally be legal. It's just not authorized because all you have authorized to do is consume. When you buy a book, rent a, watch a movie, buy a movie, buy a record, whatever. All you can do is consume that. That's it. Theoretically. Um, that's what the industry intends, you know, at least for you to do. But there's a whole bunch of uh, subsets of rules and things that you can do that are still unauthorized, but you can do them legally. So, uh, but piracy is technically defined as the unauthorized copying, distribution, and selling of copyrighted works. Um, that's what it is. So now you know. Uh, that's how it's technically defined. Um, but again, I like to say unauthorized uses. I think that's like my favorite term because piracy is kind of, mm, you know, mm. no, I don't like it, you know, so to, so to speak, because it's kind of contrived to vilify often what are legal activities that people do, but they're still unauthorized, I mean, no permission granted. So I asked this question, is piracy theft? Here's what theft is. This is my luxurious coffee that you've been seeing me drink <laughs> during every class, okay? If you were to come and take this coffee, you know what I'm saying? I no longer have that, that coffee. That is theft. See what I'm saying? Like, I no longer have it. It's a rivalrous good, right? Like, the coffee's rivalrous. I, I, know, I no longer, I no longer ha ha have that, right? I no longer have that, okay? So remember back to, like, week one where we talked about rivalrous and non-rivalrous goods, okay? So to give you a more concrete example relevant to, to what the world of what we're talking about, um, you know, if I have a vinyl record in my hand, you know, and you steal that from me, or you take that from me, right? Like, that is theft. You go into a record store, and you steal a record, that is theft. No, they no longer have that copy, right? Uh, it's gone. No one else can buy it. You've stolen that money, etc. Piracy is a little bit different, because piracy is often, often dealing with the non-rivalrous, often, right? Um, there's elements of, you know, 3D printing illegally, and... Um, you know, making, you know, patented pharmaceutical drugs, knockoffs and stuff like, stuff like that, um, violating patents and stuff that are also like rivalrous. But um, so think about the, the vinyl record, right? Like you understand theft is you take it, the record store no longer has it, I no longer have it. Piracy is you make a copy. 
So essentially, right? And you pirate the value. So take that record and flip it into the world of, of, of MP3s, okay? In the world of, of MP3s, you know what I'm saying? You make a copy of something, but it no longer deprives the original owner of that. So what you do with piracy, what makes it different is you're taking the value of something, but you may not be actually taking, um, you know, you're taking what it's worth in the economy, okay, but you're not actually stealing. Now what that means is, you know, a lot of times people who pirate things or, you know, make unauthorized copies, whether it's torrenting files, etc., wouldn't buy that shit straight up, you know, but you're making a copy. The original still exists, you know, you know what I'm saying? So the important thing is if you watch the copyright math uh, video, the TED Talk, you know, the industries create value, you, they create numbers based upon um, they, the theft of value and they equate that to actual theft. That's why they have negative, uh, you know, it says, oh, you know, the industry's worth $15 million, but $25 million of, you know, there was $25 million of piracy in that industry last year. So it's, 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 a comp it's sort of complicated. So I, I think, you know, um, what we're dealing with with piracy often is non-rival risks, right? Um, you know, you're pirating the value of, of, of something, right? A, a record's worth $13 at, at the record store. When you make an unauthorized copy of that, uh, whether you, you rip it and make a copy of it and give it to a friend or you torrent the file, you're, you're taking that value of $13, but you're not actually taking the $13 like you would if you went into the record store and grabbed and stole the actual uh, record. So I think the, the main difference here, and you get this little meme thing, you know, it says like theft, the original is gone, piracy, you make a copy of, of an original, right? So it's kind of a little bit about, about the, di the difference. And they say at the bottom, it says, you know, imagine if your car gets stolen and it's there in the morning if that makes sense. So there are two sort of different things. And I, you know, I often like to ask this too to the studio audience, like how many people here have, you know, torrented something? How many people here have burned a CD from a friend? How many people here, um, you know, have unauthorized software that they, that they got somehow? Um, how many people here have logged into someone else's HBO account or Spotify Pro or whatever account, um, you know, stuff like that. How many of you have made copies of an album for a friend? How many of you have dragged and dropped an image from a Google image search into a PowerPoint presentation or into an art project? All of those are unauthorized uses, unauthorized copies. Those are all pirate. That's all, those are all forms of piracy where you're taking the value of, of, whatever that work is in the, in the marketplace. Um, but it's extremely different than actually taking, taking the work, if that, if that makes sense. So let's watch this little propaganda video about piracy is a crime. It is a, it's a classic, you may have seen it. Um, and uh, I'll just, I'll embed it in, into, the, into the video. But here it equates, you know, you wouldn't steal a car, would you? You know, piracy is, is theft. And um, it's not it's still maybe morally incorrect, right? So all of you who probably are like, yeah, I, I torrented it, I pirated it, you know, I got this by unauthorized means, you know, or whatever, like you probably wouldn't actually be the type of person that would steal a car or that would walk into a record store and take the record off the shelf or steal a video game from a store. But you're pretty, feel pretty okay um, about pressing a button discreetly in, in your house, you know, or, or, or however you access the, the, these, these goods. So we'll watch this quick video. It's again, this is trying to say like basically piracy is the same as, as theft, but imagine when you steal the car, it's still there with the owner in the next day, but you also have the, you also have the car, if, if that makes sense.